much like any other smaller and developing state, Barbados uh, is recognized among the group that is most vulnerable to the, the challenges of climate change. Eh? This includes, you know, coastal erosion, sea level rise, and the problems associated with that. Our major challenge right now is protection against the ravages, really, of, of um, the coastal environment on our, on our um, coastal infrastructure. You really have a catch-22 situation when once the reef starts to grow, the sea can get in further. Once the sea can get in further, then the erosion gets worse. So if you want to try and fight against these climate change impacts, you have to look at either making the beaches wider or making them more resilient, hard, strong against the impacts of the waves. And this is where really the coastal interventions come in and have come in in our country in particular because we can only adapt and protect. We can't really relocate. It's not really an option for a country as small as ours and for a lot of the other small islands as well. There's a, a very big economic value attached and social attached to the beaches in Barbados. My office, the Coastal Zone Management Unit, is the unit charged with management of the coastline in a way that balances development with stewardship of the environment as well. There's not a tug of war between one and the other. There is a way that you can have development, have economic growth, while still ensuring that the environment is not adversely impacted. Small island developing states, are, as you well know, they're, they're, in being very small economies, uh, there's very little latitude for, for economic adjustments and so on. Um, it is good that the international community has defined 2014 as the year for small island developing states. Um, and I would hope that that would transition into action, certainly in the climate change negotiations and other negotiations that are discussing key issues that bear relevance to the sustainability of small islands. Sometimes you get the impression as though uh, we don't have much clout, even though in most of these things on the biodiversity, climate change and the threats to the water resources, etc., uh, we are recognized as, as being the most vulnerable. And it's about time that we see some seriousness occurring in terms of the ongoing negotiations at a pace that's commensurate with the risks that we are, we are facing.